These are original compositions. It's theologically driven, not visually driven. So I'm coming up with the theology first and then figuring out ways to sort of demonstrate that visually. I wanted it to, to be really clean because when you leave things really clean, you can make decisions like this. Like, you know, there's no underdrawing there to sort of dirty it up. It's just like exposed canvas. So what I did is I decided, let's draw it here. Uh, let's figure everything out on the plastic. Uh, and the, the oil bar is so sticky. And so once I figured it out, then I took this. And then I printed that image on there. These images were made with oil bar, which is a big stick of oil and wax. The intensity of the pigment gives you rapid execution. Once you touch the canvas, you have this instant saturation of this Prussian blue pigment. This medium lets me work as fast as I can process, as fast as I can think. So the viewer is seeing my real-time invention. It's not, a, it's not a, a, a labored technique. I think about it, I, I prepare for it, I, I take extensive measures to uh, give me the highest likelihood of success. But then once you commit to making it, it is mostly panic. It is like the fear of failure is uh, uh, intoxicating. You can't make any mistakes. This medium has no going back. Everything you see there is the first time I did it. There's no restatements, there's no corrections. It's just all real time, drawing and painting at the same time. And so, and then you're describing the light, you're describing the anatomy, you're describing the composition. And I feel like my years of abstract painting are coming through in this very figurative work. Like that flash of the asymmetrical cross in that composition, it's a very abstract space that that image interacts in. And I think it's really powerful in that environment that's that Prussian blue up against the white sort of exploding visually in front of you.